Steven Strasburg is back, and I'm going to take under the total with him and the Washington Nationals when they take on Ryan Vogelsong and the San Francisco Giants. I think what we have here is a matchup of a really good pitcher in Strasburg versus a good home pitcher in Vogelsong. Let's go ahead and let's talk about this number here. Very interesting. Both these pitchers come in with an ERA over four. It doesn't really match up, uh, especially with Strasburg. He's much better than, of course, his ERA is this year in limited starts. And uh, the total came out at seven. I thought that was pretty surprising. I thought it was kind of low when I first saw it, but I dug into some numbers here. Seems right. I like under the total even better the more I research this game. Let's talk about these pitchers. Strasburg. The guy can be absolutely just lights out. Had a really good start his last uh, time out coming back from injury. He comes in this year. ERA is a bit high. 4.76, uh, 1.38 whip, 75 strikeout, 6 and 5 record. He, you know, hasn't been very sharp this year, but good signs from his last start. And the fact he's got a career 3.19 ERA and a whip of 1.12. Those are career numbers. And he's got 800, over 820 strikeouts in 717 innings. So that's ridiculous. The guy can be fantastic. Look for him to go ahead and hold San Francisco down in the numbers. They've been struggling recently at the plate. For the Giants, you got Ryan Vogelsong. Not really the same type of starter he was a couple years back at home. He's still pretty good. Comes into this game with a 4.26 ERA, a 1.39 whip. 81 strikeouts and a seven and eight record. But the good thing for the Giants and for him is his home ERA is uh, right at three uh, and batters are only hitting 214 against him in San Francisco. He should have uh, a good outing. He's only had a few starts this year. The worst he's gotten banged up was when he allowed four runs. He did that twice in his home starts. He hasn't allowed more than that. So good chance for him to uh, jump on a road weary team and the Nationals had some Nationals had some tough uh, pitching to face in LA and it doesn't get any easier today in San Francisco so look for hit look for Vogelson to have a really good day offensively two pretty good teams even though the Giants are struggling the uh, the Nationals come into this game and they are ranked 13th in the league and run scored at 4.21 they're 13th in OPS at well as well and they hit a 250 as a team they're not bad they had some rough outings in LA um, pretty good road hitting team as well but still I, I like Vogelsong in this matchup today. Um, you know, he's also probably not going to be a starter much longer. So look for him to be extra focused today. As soon as Leak gets healthy, he'll be out of there and back to the pin. So he, he wants to put in a good start. He's going to pitch tough. Uh, for San Francisco, offensively, they're still one of the better ranked teams in the league, although they have struggled recently. They come in, they're ranked ninth in runs scored per game at 4.36. They're sixth in OPS. And they're second in team batting average, hitting 271. Here's the issue, though. The Giants, at home, all their statistics go down offensively. Their road uh, run scored per game, 4.88. In San Francisco, 3.80. That's a whole run. That's a lot. I don't know what it is or why they struggle at home so much uh, this season. But look for them to struggle today because Strasburg can be really tough. This should be a really low-scoring affair. I'm looking like a 3-1 to one type of final here. And actually, I think the Giants you know, could beat Strasburg, but that's not my play here. My play is going to be on under the total of seven. Either way this game goes, I like under here. I think both these pitchers are going to do a good job. Both these offenses struggling a little bit. Should be under this total, and that's going to be my under the total play in Major League Baseball today. And I wish you luck on your plays of the day.